Another thing that I'm always asked about quite a bit via email is, what's that big funny dial on the back of my cabinet? That's this guy right here that most people are usually referring to. This is what they call an LPAT attenuator. And what this does is it allows the amount of signal going to your horn, should your cabinet have a horn. If your cabinet doesn't have a horn, like our uh, SVT-15E or B-115, you won't have this on the back. But on most of our cabs that have horns, such as uh, the SVT-410HLF, 410HE, 610HLF, uh, what else? But anyways, if they do have a horn, it will have this LPAT attenuator. All the way to the left, you're turning your horn all the way off. All the way to the right, and your horn is full up. I usually like to have it somewhere in the middle. It's kind of a nice compromise. You're not getting too much horn, but you are getting enough sheen in your sound so that if you're doing a lot of slapping and tapping, it still comes through. Uh, a couple other things on the back panel. Again, quarter inch inputs that are wired in parallel. So if you want to daisy chain cabinets together, as well as speak ons. I always, always, always recommend the speak ons. And I'll show you why. Speak ons, for one thing, are these guys here. Okay? Cool thing about a speak on is when you plug it into the back of a cabinet, you'll hear it click. It's clicked. That will not come out of the back of that cabinet. I could pull this cabinet off my desk and uh, this thing will not let go until you throw the little thumb latch and pull it off. That guy right there. The other benefit to a speak on is because it is a better connection you're getting better connectivity between the amplifier and the cabinet. If you put a quarter inch in there and you'll hear it, okay, there's my quarter inch cable that's rattling around so I'm getting a half decent connection at best because it rattles around and from vibrations and whatnot but when I take this speak on and put it in there's no rattle and that thing is locked in so there you have it L pad connector speak on connectors I'm gonna show you what's on the other side of this panel right now okay I've removed the screws from the back panel so this is just gonna pop right off pretty easily now when you pull it out, just be careful because you'll see there's wires that go to the speaker and to the horn, but that's the back of the panel. There's your L-pad attenuator, there's your crossover panel. You'll notice two light bulbs that are soldered into that crossover panel. Let me get a close-up here for you. Okay, these are protection for your horn. Okay, I get a lot of emails from guys that say, hey, I was on a gig last night and I noticed there were lights coming out from behind my speakers. That was actually these bulbs lighting up. And what they do is they dissipate energy that would otherwise blow the horn. So it takes 10% less energy to blow these bulbs than it does your horn. So therefore, if you're hitting your horn real hard, these will actually burn out before your horn does. It's a lot more cost effective to replace a $3 light bulb than it is to replace a $100 horn. So those are in every cabinet that has a horn and an L-pad attenuator on the back of it. This is your this is your horn protection. Okay, and they're just basically bulbs or fuses soldered into the board. They're pretty easy to replace. Uh, so if you're getting a lot of light coming from your cabinet and uh, you know you, your bandmates are saying, hey dude, your cab's on fire, that may be telling you that you need to turn down your L-pad attenuator on the back here. Or you just need to turn your highs down on the front of your amp or your highs down on the base. So there you have it, man. That's the back panel of, uh, of all of our cabinets that have horns and L-pad attenuators and Neutrix and crossovers and all that fun stuff. So uh, till next time, keep on playing bass.